with uh, Mia Rose Frampton uh, here on the phone this morning. Good morning, Mia. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Oh, uh, doing good. We've got a beautiful day happening here. Whereabouts are you uh, right now? I'm in Sherman Oaks, California, Los Angeles. Oh, okay. You're just uh, here on the West Coast, same time zone and stuff. Mm-hmm. Now, are are you living down there now or just there to do a, a little bit of work? No, I'm living here now. I go to high school. Yeah, I'm living here full time now. We were trying to figure out real quick because, I mean, this is a lot of hard math for uh, my news guy, JB, and I. Uh, you were, let's see, born in 1996, so you've got to be, what, uh, 15, 16? Yeah, you're, you're right. I'm 15. Well, that's why I'm a disc jockey. <laughs> <laughs> you actually uh, are now here on the West Coast, but originally born in Nashville, and then I guess you moved up north into uh, Cincinnati and then made your way out here to California. Is that the path that you've gone in, in your long life now? <laughs> yeah, it's been it's a, it's been interesting. Well, I gotta I gotta guess that it would be interesting when you have somebody like your dad uh, that yeah. you're born into that family. I mean, you know, your dad, Peter Frampton, the rocker and stuff. Mm-hmm. At what point in your life did you realize that uh, your dad was somebody famous like that? Um, I I don't know. I don't remember a specific time. I just remember that I would just see him on stage, and these people would be. Uh, singing the exact same words that my dad was singing, and I was thinking, why do they know exactly what he's going to say? And uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know a like, specific time, but I just knew that he was just had a really cool job and got to do what he loved every single day. Well, you at the age of 15, you've already got yourself kind of a uh, a, a real uh, uh, trail of success going right now. You've mm-hmm. been in, in a couple of different films. Uh, you've been on the ABC family show Make It or Break It. Uh, you're you're going to be in this Bridesmaids, uh, Bridesmaids coming up on May 13th when it gets released. And then you've got this other movie, That's What I Am. I mean, so, you know, that's, that's pretty good accomplishments yourself so far. <laughs> I'm very lucky and very happy. <laughs> yeah, have, have you reached a point yet where people recognize you on the street? Really, I mean, I have had a few people, but uh, I'm really surprised when it does happen. But that, you know, on a rare occasion, very rare. <laughs> I, I bet if Dad's around and and, and that happens, that uh, he, he's got to beam with pride. I mean, he's he's dealt with that all his uh, you know career, and yeah, now he's and very now, proud of me. Yeah, but, you know, he's given me you know some advice to not always uh, expect good things, but also that bad things. May happen. <laughs> Have you had a bad thing happen to you yet? In your no, not really. I've been pretty lucky, but my dad always says, you know, keep looking forward, keep on going. You know, that's pretty good advice from old dad there. Yeah, he's he is he's good advice. Now you too also have some uh, some um, some musical uh, side of your uh, of your talent as well. Is that right? Mm-hmm. I've been uh, singing since I was about seven, and then I just started playing guitar about four years ago now. Yeah, now, do you do, uh, I forget what that trick was that your dad did with, you know, the the Frampton Comes Alive, you know, where he speaks kind of through the guitar. Do you do that, that as well? No, I'm just going to leave that talent to him. <laughs> <laughs> now, you guys must once in a while get together and do a little singing around the house there. Oh, I mean, yeah. we uh, He likes to call it jam together. Jam right. together a couple, a few times. But, I mean, I don't know. We just like to... You know, he's you, just my dad. We just hang out. Okay. Well, let's talk more about you right now, because that's what this is all about. Let's talk about this movie, That's What I Am. Uh, mm-hmm. Where are we going to see this at? Well, you can see it just around your area in a, a theater called Chino Hills. Okay. It's, it's in selected theaters, and it's out this Friday. This is a movie about, uh, and, and you play the uh, the star role in this uh, as Mia, is uh, or as Mary Clear. Is that right? Mm-hmm. I play uh, the main character's love interest in the movie. Ah, okay. So you're the love interest. Yes, but I'm you, the love interest. You're the love interest, but you're also supposed to be the permanent makeout artist of the eighth grade. Is that correct? Yep, that is correct. That is me. <laughs> Obviously, your dad didn't have that conversation with you, did Did he now? <laughs> no, he didn't. He's not too happy about that. <laughs> uh, so so in this movie, is is this one of those like kind of movies uh, that is teaching a lesson at the same time for our tweens and stuff? Exactly. It's a very, it's a very, when you come out of it, you just, it's a feel-good movie. And then it's just a movie about tolerance and acceptance, and uh, it deals with the topic of bullying, and mm-hmm. it's, it has a really good message. Well, I mean, you're not that far out of the realm of that. Uh, you went to public school and so forth, did you? Wait, sorry, what did you uh, say? Did you go to public school yourself? Uh, I go to private school, actually. I'm okay. in high school. So now, so in a private school, would you be subject as much to some of these bullying activities as, as uh, kids in public schools are? 
I, I don't think it's any different with private schools and mm -hmm. public schools. I mean, everybody goes through bullying. It doesn't matter where you are. Have you had that kind of experience or, or seen that around uh, your school? Well, yes. I, I think everybody has. And, and, and how was that handled? I mean, uh, was this something that you were able to intervene and jump in or, you know? I, if I, uh, the times I have seen it, yes, I've, you know, tried to intervene and mm -hmm. try to stop it. Um, but I think that everybody needs to just j jump in and make the person that's actually bullying someone else realize that you need to stop and that you just need to be more accepting. And that's basically the message of this movie. All right. Well, we look forward to uh, seeing that. Like you say, it's in some uh, select theaters. It's called That's What I Am. And then, of course, you've got your uh, uh, other movie that's going to be coming out that you've got some roles in, uh, Bridesmaids, so that's coming out on the uh, 13th. And then yeah. every once in a while, you get to jam with Dad, huh? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, at uh, some point, it's going to happen that uh, you're going to be recognized on the street. Nobody's going to know who your dad is, and uh, you're going to be the one that's going to be gathering the crowd around you. And uh, I look forward to uh, to seeing that happen for you. And uh, continue on the good success uh, that you've already got a, a foothold on, and we'll talk again sometime, all right? All right. Thank you so Th much. Thank you very much. All right. See you later. Bye-bye.